नमस्कार माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर त्रिशान बोनिक आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ द आई एम डी फॉर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ मे दैट इज फॉर टूडे सो फर्स्ट यू विल टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्जर्व वेदर इफ यू विल सी द ऑरेंज कलर हैज बीन गिवेन फॉर द केरला एंड येलो कलर हैज बीन गिवेन फॉर द कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना साउथ इंडिया कर्नाटक एंड तमिलनाडु एंड ऑल ओवर द केरला वी हैव रियलाइज द वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल एंड ओवर द रिमेनिंग पार्ट लाइक कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश दैन तेलंगाना रायल सीमा एंड ऑल्सो ओवर साउथ इंटीरियर कर्नाटक एंड तमिलनाडु हेवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन रियलाइज एंड इफ यू सी द हीट वेव हीट वेव हैज बीन रियलाइज फ्रॉम द सीवियर हीट वेव हैज बीन रियलाइज फ्रॉम द वेस्ट एंड ईस्ट राजस्थान फ्रॉम द मेनी प्लेसेस मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसेज फ्रॉम द वेस्ट राजस्थान एंड यू कैन सी अदर प्लेसेज लाइक गुजरात एंड वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश वी हैव रियलाइज द हीट वेव हीट वेव हैज बीन रियलाइज इफ यू सी द जम्मू कश्मीर एंड हरियाणा हीट वेव ऑल्सो रियलाइज फ्रॉम दोज रीजियन सो द मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर एंड इट्स एसोसिएटेड डिपार्चर सो यू कैन सी ओवर द राजस्थान एज वेल एज द वेस्ट एम पी देन गुजरात एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द महाराष्ट्र इंक्लूडिंग द विदर्भा मराथवाड़ा एंड द मध्य महाराष्ट्र वेर द टेम्परेचर मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर गोज बियॉन्ड द फोर्टी फोर डिग्री एट सेंटीग्रेड एंड वन स्टेशन ओवर द वेस्ट Uh, Rajasthan has been recorded around 49 degrees centigrade the associated departure also you can see the departure is more than 4.5 to 6.4 degree over the many parts of the west rajasthan and also the heat wave like scenario is also there over the assam and heat wave uh, uh, warning has been issued for assam for today and if you see the synoptic condition there is a cyclonic circulation uh, there over the uh, like one is uh, near the south uh west uh, southeast of the rajasthan and one is in the central part and uh, close to the bidarbha and its neighboring region and one cyclonic circulation is also there in the southwest kerala and the trough line from the southeast rajasthan up to the uh, telangana is also present and if you talk about the uh, like uh, the deep depression over the east central bay of bengal which is presently lie over the east central bay of bengal and uh, after Uh, like uh, after today evening it will convert it to the cyclonic storm and uh, it will further move to the northward directions and uh, presently we are expecting that around the midnight of 26th of may it will cross the sagar island and in between the sagar island and the kepupara area so we'll further discuss about the cyclonic storm and its track in the coming slides so as i already mentioned that the deep depression which is lying over the east central bay of bengal uh, is uh, 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 nearly uh, moving north uh, northward and within the last 6 hours uh, it has a speed of around 17 uh, km per hour and uh, uh, which is around uh, 440 km of the south southwest of the kepupara for bangladesh and 440 km south southeast of the sagar island and also 480 km south southeast of the canning and as i already mentioned it is very likely to continue to move nearly northward and intensify into a cyclonic storm over the east central and adjoining north bay of bengal around today evening and it will continue to move further northward and it would intensify into a severe cyclonic storm by 26th may morning and cross bangladesh and adjoining west bengal coast between the sagar island and the kepupara by 26th may midnight as a severe cyclonic storm and the wind speed can go up to the 110 to 120 gusting to the 135 kmph over the coastal area of the uh, uh, gangetic west bengal and uh, its surrounding area so this is the uh, graphical representation of the cyclonic track and also the associated wind information uh if you see here the black dot is basically representing the observed uh, cyclonic track till date starting from the 24th up to today 2500 utc this is the uh, track through which the cyclone actually uh, that uh, depression and the, now it is a deep depression moved from west central uh, bay of bengal up to the east central bay of bengal and the red dot is basically the forecast track you can see it will uh, expected we are expecting that it will uh, almost cross the coast of the bangladesh which is close to the gangetic west bengal in between the sagar island and the kepupara if you see the wind distribution here over the uh, observed and the expected track you can see the uh, coastal region 
specifically the Ganjitu West Bengal, Bangladesh and also the uh, area close to the uh, northeastern states, you can see the wind speed can go up to the 62 to 91 kmph and further also it can enhance. And if you see the uh, sea condition over the same time during the 26 midnight it will cross the uh, land over the Kepubara and the Sagar Island the sea condition may be very high or the high to very high uh, condition may be there over the sea so this is the fisherman warning so if you see here you can see the red warning has been given over the uh, uh, like uh, eastern bay of bengal and uh, also here you can see the orange warning which is associated with the gale wind speed up to the 90 to 120 kmph gusting to 135 so the people or the fishermen who are there already in the bay of bengal they are advised to return to their uh, uh, respected area and also it is suggested that not to venture over the area where the warning has been issued apart from that you can see some warning has also been given over the arabian sea which is basically associated uh, of the associated with the strong wind uh, due to the monsoonal circulation so fishermen are also advised not to venture over that area as well so now we'll talk about the next five days uh, weather warning so you can see for today heat wave uh, uh, warning has been heat wave to severe heat wave warning has been issued for the uh, rajasthan as well as for the west mp and if you see the other area yellow warning has been given for the northern north indian state like jammu kashmir then uh, himachal pradesh as well as the haryana and also for the west mp and east uh, uh, west uh, sorry east uttar pradesh west uttar pradesh and east madhya pradesh and also gujarat and shorast kach also along with the bidarbha and uh, apart from that you can see the thunderstorm warning has been issued for different states of the uh, gangetic west bengal odisha uh, coastal andhra pradesh tamil nadu then karnataka then uh, ralsima kerala all those area uh, we have given the thunderstorm warning and if you see here the heat wave also warning has been issued for the uh, Assam for today and also north northeastern state also like Arunachal Pradesh and uh, uh, like Nagaland, Manipur we are expecting the thunderstorm kind of scenario for tomorrow which is a very crucial day specifically for the eastern coast when uh, the cyclone will going to uh, landfall to the midnight of the 26th of May so during uh, that time or before that as well the high wind speed warning has been issued along with the extremely heavy rainfall we are expecting over the isolated places over the uh, coastal uh, districts of the west bengal as well as orange alert has been issued for the high wind speed and the heavy to very heavy rainfall for the uh, tripura mizoram as well as the uh, manipur and nagaland and uh, apart from that uh, uh, like a strong wind has uh, warning has also been issued for the andaman nikobar dipkunja and uh, Urissa and if you see the western part of the India and northwestern part heat wave warning has been severe yeah, uh, severe heat wave warning has been issued for uh, the Rajasthan as well as the West Madhya Pradesh area and uh, some other places like uh, as I already mentioned hot and humid kind of condition may persist over the Bihar and a strong wind will be there over the Odisha so the people over the coast of the uh, West Bengal should follow the advisory issued by the IMD as well as the state government and sh they should be updated with the whatever weather uh, advisory issued for the cyclone over the eastern go specifically the people over the uh, west bengal area and also if you see the 27 the cyclone may uh, after the landfall it will move further that uh, uh, to the northward directions and uh, red warning has been issued for the northeastern state like tripura mizoram and uh, assam and uh, uh, also nagaland so uh, there may be uh, some places where isolated extremely heavy rainfall may be realizing uh, uh, we, we are expecting the uh, extremely heavy rainfall may occur over the isolated places over the northeastern state during the 27th of may and also the uh, severe heat wave warning has been issued for the eastern uh, western state over the uh, specifically the uh, rajasthan and also west madhya pradesh and uh, haryana punjab and West MP and if you see uh, some thunderstorm warning has been issued for the Odisha, Jharkhand, Bihar and Kerala for 27th of May. During 28th May, um, uh, uh, Northwest India same heat wave like condition will persist and red alert
permit has been issued for the uh, like Rajasthan, then uh, Madhya Pradesh and also Punjab, Haryana and the orange alert has been issued for the west Uttar Pradesh and uh, east of Madhya Pradesh and uh, due to the uh, that uh, continuation of this uh, cyclonic uh, storm uh, or the passing of this uh, cyclonic circulation through the land, uh, the uh, uh, red warning has been issued over the Assam during 28 as well and uh, the South Assam specifically or the, the central part of the Assam and also orange alert has been issued for the Arunachal Pradesh for 28 of May. If you see the 29 May, the warning has been reduced specifically over the northeastern state. Orange warning has been given for the uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall. And also, if you see the western state uh, or the northwestern state, the severe heat wave condition may persist over the uh, like uh, west. Uh, uh, Rajasthan but there is a possibility that after the two or three days there is a some kind of one to two degree de reduction of the temperature over the west Rajasthan specifically and also it's adjoining east Rajasthan as well and if you see the Jambu Kashmir uh, and the Himachal Pradesh and the for the Uttar Pradesh and uh, Madhya Pradesh and also the Bidarbha and Chhattisgarh heat wave warning has been issued for 29th of May as well. So that's all. Stay tuned with the, all the AMD uh, advisory which we are issuing for the cyclone as well as for the heat wave. And thank you very much.